Yeah. So kind of staying on topic about the nuclear power thing. Yep. I, for the last, you know, five years, my, I read my local newspaper every week uh, on the, the, the weekend issue, I think the Sunday issue, uh, they have 10 local economists or like professors or a business person or a consultant or, um, you know, they, they call them economists and they ask them some question and it's a yes or no question. And then they give a little blurb and I've never, I can't remember ever hearing in five years, a single thing good said about nuclear power. And then uh, today in the, mo in the most recent one, the question was, uh, is California, is the grid too reliant on renewable energy? And like there are four out of 10 had a positive mention of how nuclear power, new nuclear should be part of you know the discussions of if you're serious about greenhouse gases and these are all just like either from you know in, in standard political jargon just you know either to the left or you know progressive or or moderate maybe some of them so i don't know if there's like some memo that got out that said okay it's it, it's it's approved now we're allowed to start talking about nuclear or we can say some good things about it but but we've gone from five years of only bad to in the same day, you know, four out of 10 economists are giving some sort of, you know, thumbs up on it. I definitely think there's been a movement over the last few years um, that's become more positive about nuclear, partially because anybody who is honest and who thinks climate change is an issue, and I know some people think that's impossible to be honest and to think climate change is an issue, but there, I think there are a lot of honest people who think climate change is an issue also realize that the only solution if you're worried about fossil fuels is nuclear power. There is no other solution, period. Um, and I think that, is, that has become more and more and more obvious to the better people, to the more honest people. I was just listening to John Cochran today, who is, a, who is one of my favorite economists. I talk about it a lot. And he, was, he, he thinks climate change is real. He doesn't think it's imminent, you know, or, catastrophic imminently or anything Exist any imminently existential yeah he doesn't Maybe believe he doesn't that. that but he said you know the only way to deal with climate change is through nuclear power i mean it was obvious to him it wasn't even a question um so i think that is dawning on people i think there's been a lot more press about nuclear power that's positive uh i i seen just in like the science engineering kind of press there's been a lot more discussion about the um about new nuclear power plants being built, about new technologies, uh, new startups being started. And then I do think there's the Bill Gates effect, right? Uh, Bill Gates is, is in the last two, three years, it's been commonly known that he's heavily invested in this one nuclear power uh, startup uh, that was uh, about to build a sample nuclear power plant in China and the Trump administration banned them from doing it because of technology transfer or something. They didn't want China to be beneficiary of this. Um, and now it looks like the Biden administration is approving their ability to build a sample nuclear power plant in Montana, I think, that they're transforming an old coal plant into a nuclear power plant. And uh, it looks like they're gonna go into start um, construction this year with the idea that it'll be finished by 2025 which is really fast for a nuclear power plant but it's a smaller plant produces less energy but also no uh, it recycles everything so no waste and uh, relatively cheap and so i think the fact that he has talked about it the fact that uh, uh, there's real venture capital money flowing into it i think all of that has come together to make it more uh, acceptable. It's still true that on the left, particularly among the environmentalists, maybe it's in Wyoming, not Montana, one of those states, um, and among the environmentalists, it's still not acceptable at all. Um, but but yeah, I think I think that's one area where there's probably movement towards the positive in in accepting it among among uh, certainly among the, the the rational people out there. Yeah, I see. I think I saw the. The tide turned you know, today. I think the writing's on the wall now for it to pick up positive momentum. 
Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, the Scandinavians, I think it's either, I think it's Finland. Finland is building these massive, it, it, it's just built this massive nuclear power plant. I mean, it, it, so Finland and France, I guess, Finland's other European country, where they're not, they, they're going full throttle ahead with, with nuclear. They're not waiting for the rest of the world. Uh, they, they don't want to be dependent on, on um, natural gas from Russia. They don't want to be dependent on, um, on oil from the North Sea, from Norway, because uh, the, the, there's some reason to believe that the Norwegians are not really investing in new fields up there, that they're, they're, because they, partially because it's state run, so they're not that forward thinking, and partially because they're fundamentally anti-fossil fuels, and then they're drilling for fossil fuels. So uh, the Norwegians are kind of torn. So Finland is, is going to be energy independent, basically, uh, nuclear, and I think Sweden is as well. Um, somebody says, Wanda Friedman says Sweden is as well, because they don't want they don't want these dependencies, and they realize that this is the rational, technologically sound. Uh, this is the future, and it, you know one of the sad things is that the U.S. is so behind on nuclear, and uh, you know we nuclear is a fascinating field because I think we came we went into nuclear too quickly because government subsidized it. Because of that, we built nuclear power plants that weren't that good. They were marginally, uh, uh, were marginally less safe than otherwise, and they just didn't run very efficiently and were very expensive and so on. So they became very unpopular because they were expensive and then we had three mile, three mile island. island. Um, so then the environmentalists had a pseudo excuse to, to, to promote banning them. But that's because we went in too early because of government. So we never allowed the market in nuclear to evolve properly, whereas other countries waited and they invested in nuclear only after the technology was much better. And that's why in, in Western Europe and, and in Japan, uh, nuclear power plants are much better than they are in the US because they came on board much later. Uh, and then they had less of a crazy backlash against it. It's funny how in some ways, in some areas, Europe is saner than the U.S., where they, they have re less regulations. Uh, they, they don't quite believe in as many as in the regulatory state quite as much as we do. Debbie. So a couple comments on that. Um, first of all, on behalf of Alex Epstein, I have to point out solar and wind are not renewables. They are unreliables. Yes. And they are. <laughs> um, <laughs> I just then, did an interview with Alex like an hour ago. Uh, we mm -hmm. did a whole hour on Puerto Rico. So hopefully he'll, and we talked about nuclear and we talked about unreliables. Yes. Yeah, I was just thinking, if Alex hears this, he has to be redeemed with this. Uh, no, no, they're not renewable. Okay. Um, did I say but, renewable? Uh, um, no, it wasn't you. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, no, it was Matt. <laughs> and yeah, I it, think it was that's the, that just... was the title of the question in oh, the okay. newspaper. Yeah. 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 No worries, Matt. <laughs> um, and then also, there's a really good book about this, about nuclear power. And it was written by, uh, I can't remember the name because it's been many years since I read it, but a really good comprehensive book about nuclear power. And it was written by an environmentalist who learned about nuclear and about how unreliable the unreliables are. It's called Power to Save the World. So they talk a lot about the history of nuclear power and why people are so afraid of it. And then also why the uh, wind and solar are absolutely not any kind of a path towards Excellent. an industrial civilization. So it's it's really great. I, I, I don't know why it didn't get more exposure. Well, no, I do actually, probably because it was written by an environmentalist who uh, you know, kind of saw the light on that and realized that it's not, um, solar and wind aren't going to get us anywhere good. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist 
Brute. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share, and uh, you can support the show at yourownbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if you... Even if you just come here to troll, or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe, because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified. Right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.